Today I'm going to show you a super simple way to sense servo current draw. This can be used to get a rough idea of how much strain the motor's under, which could be useful if, say, you want to tell if the servo arm has hit something. Servos have what's called an encoder inside of them, which keeps track of their position. When you send a servo a signal telling it to move to a specific location, the controller inside adjusts the amount of current going to the motor to move it into position. When the servo comes under strain, it takes more current to move the arm. This may happen if the servo is trying to move a heavier load, or if it's trying to hold a static position. So right now I have this servo set up to stay in this position, and as soon as I push against the servo arm on the power supply, indicated by the increasing green numbers, there is a current spike, and sure enough, as soon as I let go, it falls back down to baseline. One way to detect this increased current draw is by placing a current shunt resistor between the ground wire of the servo and ground. Current shunt resistors are essentially just low resistance resistors across which a voltage drop can be measured. So in this setup, I'm using a 1 ohm 5 watt metal film resistor. If you are interested in how to go about choosing the, an appropriate resistor for your application, I'll leave more details in the description. So the point of the resistor is that Across them, a voltage drop can be measured that is proportional to the amount of current running through it, as per Ohm's law. So right now, if I were to, if I go ahead and push against the arm of the servo on the oscilloscope, we can see very noticeable voltage spikes. Okay, so the exact same thing applies for when the servo's in motion. So if I were, to, so if I push against the servo arm, there's a voltage spike measured on the oscilloscope which is, again, caused by the increased current draw of the strained servo. Reading the voltage across the resistor with an Arduino is extremely simple. To do so, simply connect the side of the resistor connected to the servo to one of the Arduino's analog pins. For the code, I started with the built-in sweep sketch that comes as an example for the Arduino servo library. I then modified it to read and output the value from the analog pin. Looking at the serial plotter, we can see that the values for unloaded motion range anywhere from 0 to around 90. When I push against the moving servo arm, the values jump up to above 120. Using this, I wrote a sketch in which the servo arm would sweep back and forth until it met resistance, which it detected again by checking if the value read from the analog pin exceeded a threshold value of 120 in which case it would stop and go back the other direction to its starting position before resuming. It's really simple, and it works. Alright, so I developed this circuit for one of my engineering design classes. One of our challenges in the class is to design a mechanism that would be mounted to an autonomous rover, which we also design, that is capable of grabbing a target object. So I was looking into ways to detect whether or not the target had been successfully picked up by the servo actuated mechanism, since my team was looking for a way to do so without the use of any additional sensors. I'll be making a video about that project in the near future, so please consider subscribing if you are interested in seeing more stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new, and I'll see you next time.